Wait, what the hell is this game called again? K A R T Hey, how you? Toot Ha Uh Hi Heath 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 of Ian. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Spoopity Doopity Put Your Duxons, uh, back in a game of Heaths of Ian 4. Hey, that's right, guys. Despite the fact I got a bunch of comments telling me not to play Fortnite, I it just makes me want to play Fortnite even more. Now I've got confirmation from Alex, Drew, and Bo that we're all gonna play. You best hit that sub button because, boy, it's gonna happen. And today, guys, I got another interesting, weird way to play the game for you today. Of course, as you can already tell, the title it will be tanks only of course i'm not entirely sure if this is even possible i've not actually tried it or even tested this before so it might go very bad and this might turn into an alex aramba video pretty damn quickly oh yeah everyone guess what it was hitler's birthday on the 20th of april this isn't the 10th, 20th of april when i recorded this though so <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about your birthday, Hitler. So I was going to try this as Germany or the UK, but both of those are pretty stale, and I have played a bunch of German games recently, so instead I'm going to try to do it as the Soviet Union. I think they're one of the only nations that this could really be pulled off with that in America, but America's pretty fucking boring, and I want to be in the action, because, you know, it's supposed to be a fucking entertaining video. Sorry, <laughs> entertaining video. God. <laughs> Best joke I've had all year. So it's going to be pretty simple for this one. It's going to be tanks only. Air power and naval there. It doesn't fucking matter. Normal rules. Just no infantry, basically. So I don't, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm, I'm going to give it my best shot. Hopefully as good as the shot that went straight through your fucking head. All right, it's me, Stalin here. And guys, i got to have a word with the armed forces. Uh, tank guys, you just go over there. Now, everyone else, I need you to line up on this wall and then look the other way. Yeah, that's how you do a purge, Dally. None of that pussy fighting around you did. Now, after the rest of the armed forces of the tank brigades went on a long holiday where they never existed in the first place, what are you on about, silly Western journalists? We now need to focus on building up a brand new one. And by new one, I mean just expand our existing one of just 11 tank divisions. So I've actually got the more decisions mod on, which is a pretty cool mod, and I completely forgot you get to choose your own religion, and of course, being the Soviet Union, Nah, thanks. God's a bit gay. Oh, glorious day in Russia. We've got ourselves a nice little purge going on. And more importantly, we're not at war with anyone, but it's time to go to war economy. Do you feel that, comrade? Do you feel it? Do you feel like the rotten corpse of capitalism is about to be set on fire? Oh, Japan's at war with China. And I was going to send some volunteers to the Chinese, but unfortunately... My army is still on a permanent vacation. Oh shit, well when Germany asked for Poland's asshole for a birthday present, I wasn't exactly, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't actually expecting to have to serve up some Polish ass. Good news is I've managed to produce 44 divisions of light tanks. Unfortunately, that's probably not going to stop the German horde. Oh, I fucking hate you, you old bigoty mustache birthday Fucking dick. Well, I've got 66 20 with light tank divisions on the border. Question is, will they hold? Okay, they're actually holding. I've got a whole bunch of light tanks I've built up, which is pretty fucking great. But more importantly, I'm really fucking surprised. Oh, Hitler made a quick breakthrough, but unfortunately, considering my whole army is tanks, I very quickly managed to overrun them and then good by two heavy tank divisions. Okay, so I focus my entire industry on planes and tanks, and I'm doing 72 damage to their fucking units. They're absolutely getting destroyed by my airplanes and tanks. Okay, I really wasn't expecting this war to be so fucking one-sided. I've already killed a million fucking Germans. Equipment-wise, the only thing I'm really running out of right now is motorized. I'm actually keeping up my tank production quite well, but when you've got all your fucking military factories on them, ki kind of easy. You see, Japan's smart. They think, don't want to fuck with the guys that are fucking with Germany right now. Romania, on the other hand, joined the fucking Axis. Fuck! Yeah, not that fucking surprising. I moved my troops from my fullback line, which I was intending to use at the start, but now I'm probably not going to need it, and I deployed some troops early, and I, I'm, I'm holding. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing okay. Okay, so the Germans are completely shredded to the point now. I'm going to start pushing, but not all together, because I don't want to push through those Hungarian mountain provinces, but I think we might actually <laughs> already have won this war. I, I, I... 
th this is my production line, by the way, and uh, I, I, I was expecting way more of a fucking challenge. The Soviets have got a massive tank Zerg army about to overrun Europe. No, no, no. Print the story about Tana Tuva, that'll get the front line. Oh, I'm sorry, Germany. You expected a quick and easy war with us Soviets, but unfortunately, I built 70 plus light tank divisions. And apparently, that's enough to stop you. Okay, I've just said fuck it, and I, I'm just moving the line altogether now, and it is. It's just so fucking beautiful. Oh, Stalin! Ah! Oh! I, I just can't say enough. I, I was not expecting this to go this well. Um, guys, if you if you want to try this out, I, I highly recommend you fucking do it because fuck me, it is incredibly fun just to roll over everyone with fucking tanks. Oh, new plane. Now nah, get out of the way. Jody's dead. That's right. <laughs> oh my God, that's so fucking brutal. Yeah, I like to imagine the Italians saw that massive steel wave coming from Eastern Europe and were just like, <laughs> fuck that, you can keep my country. Okay, so I am pretty interested in exactly where Italy's got all their troops, because there was none in Italy. Apparently they've still got up to 52, so we're going to tank switch over here and see exactly what's going on. They've got no manpower. They had factories on everything, and they're, oh, of course! They're all in Africa! Yeah, to be fair, Italy, I'm pretty sure my mechanized wave took over Europe so quickly, I don't think you really had that much time to respond. Oh, deja vu! What? No, my game fucking crashed. Let me just take over Italy again. And there we go! The peace deal's done a second time. I've made Poland look like an angry alligator with no teeth, mostly because they've been worn down by my big Soviet mechanized penis! Now, I'm going to go to War of Japan next, but first I'm going to take out a few of these things I get free claims on through my focus tree, and oh my god, I like the fact the Iranians are putting up more of a fight than the Germans ever did on the east here. Oh, well that's actually incredibly convenient. Now, will I be able to beat Afghanistan with tanks against their mount? Oh, I see how it fucking is, France. Well, since the fact the French are massive racists, I'm just going to have to take Turkey instead because for some reason, they're really very keen to protect Afghanistan, you fucking dickhead Charles de Gaulle. Apparently, though, not very eager to protect Turkey. Oh my god, this is so fucking disgusting. I'm making 110 light tanks a fucking day. Right, well, pucker up, Hirohito. It's time for your annual screening in the anus. Now, having a massive tank army is really good on land, but unfortunately, kind of got to get that across the sea somehow. Ah, the secret is just to not land in a port, but instead just ram your big tank army onto the land and hope for God that you manage to get to a port. Oh, that was easy. This is probably one of the most disgusting games I've ever done. Not because of border gore, not because of any bad decisions from the AI, not because of getting fucked by the AI, but because I'm just absolutely hammering the AI so fucking hard. Well, 1949! What a better year to go toward the AI. Yeah, I kind of, I've kind of just not been paying attention to the game for a while. I've been doing other stuff, but uh. I, I, I've got a, I've got a few surprises for them. Yeah, really just proving my point even more that this is the most disgusting game I've ever played. Uh, this is why you don't play to late game, by the way, if you ever wondered why. I, I just can't believe there's so many fucking French and allied troops. Jesus Christ, it's a bloodbath. Yeah, I kind of want to just finish this game up now. I, I think we've done all we can really do. So I'm, I'm just going to nuke Britain and I'm just going to capitulate them. For some reason, America's not in the Allies, I noticed. They never joined. So all I need to do is take out Britain. Then I'll just force a peace still and we'll end it there. That's if I can actually take Britain because they could probably fortress the fuck out of this shit. Best thing about fortresses, though, is that they're not that great against nuclear explosions. Oh, look, the Allies sent their army on special vacations, too. Ah. Yeah, I think after the 30-odd nukes I dropped on Britain, uh, they're, they're not in a great spot. <laughs> ah, just how World War II went in real life. Well, I think this is definitely where I'm going to leave it. Uh, I went ahead and forced the peace deal through the console, just because uh, I'd have to have taken out Australia and Canada as well. And I, I just can't be bothered. It's 1949. I've been playing for, like, hours now. And uh, here's all my equipment that I ended up left with. Uh, most of this is, like, allied stuff, like the planes and stuff. But all the tanks... My tank divisions, if you want to look, here's the last heavy tank one I used. Or was that my modern one? No, here's my heavy one. Uh, it, it's pretty good. It did, it did the job pretty fucking well. And it, my light tanks were just 20 width the whole fucking time, which is crazy. 
Um, yeah, I really, really suggest like trying out this playthrough as it was incredibly fucking fun. But yeah, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and leave any more of these weird challenges down below. Of course, I, uh, so far I've done the meme equipment one, I did the submarines one, and now I've done this one, and all of them have been in incredibly fucking fun. So I, I actually say just go ahead and try them yourself if you want to, and go ahead, tweet me, or leave a comment down below, tell me how it went for you guys, because so far I, I'm having a real fucking blast doing this shit.